Well, we're celebrating 1976 technically, and Jim Lonborg, Dr. Jim Jim Lonborg, threw out the first pitch before the start of today's ball game to his former teammate Larry Boa. Jim won 18 games back in 1976, and his prize for that is he sitting down <laughs> with Greg Murphy. Murph? You'd think there'd be a better prize for that, honestly. Yeah, we welcome in Jim Lomborg. It's great to see you. First of all, first time to Citizens Bank Park, so welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, it looks like a great place to watch a ball game. I'm not so sure I'd like to pitch here. But, uh. <laughs> yeah, we've heard that before, but uh, you know what? Uh, I think you'd get the job done here. You know what's kind of cool? So it's retro night, and we're celebrating along with you. You spent uh, uh, yeah, time in a Phillies uniform from 73 to 79, and uh, you wore this uniform, but you also wore the, the opponent's uniform. You wore these Brewers uniforms as well. I'm a real retro guy tonight. <laughs> But yeah, in 72, this is the exact uh, uniform we wore uh, when uh, I pitched for the Brewers. I, Tom uh, alluded to uh, the fact that you're a doctor, and that, so let's let's explain that to the folks at home. Because after your playing career was over, uh, you you had already graduated from Stanford. You went back to to dentist, dentist school, medical school, and became a dentist. And you're still practicing today, right? I am. It's uh, uh, I'm very fortunate to number one have had the physical skills to play baseball for 15 years. And also to have the desire to want to uh, stay in the healthcare field. Um, dentistry is a wonderful profession. Uh, don't have that many emergencies, you know, so yeah. I can have a, a relatively normal life. Uh, but, you know, we provide a lot of great services uh, to the community, and uh, I love going to work every day. Let's talk a little bit about that baseball career. I was talking to your former teammate Greg Lazinski earlier today, and he said, you've got to ask Jim about his pregame routine, getting that arm ready. Can you tell us a little bit about what you went through? to get your arm ready because it was kind of unique well I guess it was uh, in the sense you know th there's a lot of wear and tear on the arm over the years and sometimes you need to uh, apply some kind of an ointment to help kind of get the blood going up there so there was a, a, a liniment that was called capsule and uh, a lot of horse people know all about it but it, it provides a little fire to the skin and gets a lot of circulation going up there now, not too many people can do it but uh, I got used to it. Greg said that if he put it on, it would blister his skin. He said that's how hot it was, but no problem for you. Well, it was very hot. In fact, uh, a lot of times with the rookies, if you wanted to pull a trick on them uh, before uh, leaving on a road trip or something, you'd take some of it and dab it to the back of their underwear. <laughs> and they'd be sitting on the plane, and they'd say, oh, my God, what's going on? There's something burning in my back. So, uh, yeah, it's hot stuff. You know, it's retro night. I might have to bring that back for the next plane ride for us. That, that, that sounds like a pretty good trick. Uh, what do you remember about uh, playing at Veterans Stadium? You played during an era where the Phils, uh, well, it's, it didn't start very strong, but by the end, in, in 79, you guys were a pretty good team at that point. We were an excellent team, you know. In, in 73 and 74, you had the beginnings of uh, all the young talent with Schmidt and Bo and Luzinski. Uh, and plus some of the great trades that uh, Paul Owens was able to uh, establish with the ball club. And we all grew up together with Steve Carlton anchoring the pitching staff at that time. And then they brought in Tug McGraw later on. It was just a, a, a team that came together because you had the talent from within the organization. And you had some good trades where everybody was healthy and strong. And who wouldn't want to pitch for the Phillies in the 70s? Well, you pitched for the Red Sox uh, in the late 60s as well. The year 67, uh, everybody can remember that was around watching baseball at the time. Cy Young Award winner, uh, 22 wins that year for you. You guys go to the World Series. Um, you, when you think back to that era as well, they're pretty special memories. Well, they were. Uh, again, that's a, a, another team very similar to the Phillies. Uh, they all came together at the end of 66. I think our, our season was we had about the second best record in the American League. Uh, we all came into 67 feeling very good about ourselves and our chances uh, and with Yaz having uh, the great year that he had that year we were able to put it together. Well it certainly is great to have you back in Philadelphia you get a chance to see the two two of the three uniforms that you wore during your career. Uh, we hope you enjoy yourself tonight at Citizens Bank Park. Thanks for taking a couple minutes with us. No, it's my pleasure and I wish the Phillies a lot of luck this summer and maybe we can see you uh, in the postseason. That would be okay. Let's let's hope that happens. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll send it back to you in the booth. All right, Murph, we appreciate that.